G'day guys, it's Calvin from the Couching Company New Zealand. Like a lot of jobs, uh, they start here in the garage or in the workshop, and um, they do testing and then they're sent out. However, this one is getting sent out by me by going to the job. And it's a pretty cool job, and we're gonna go catch up with Aaron, who does frickin' awesome work. Uh, he has got a KUN Hilux, he's put a solid front end in it, and he needs me to sort the four-wheel drive. So that's what we're gonna do. But I'm testing it first, and actually I'm doing two of them. Well, he's done two of them, I've got a wire two of them. We have a transfer case. Motor, plugged in, switch plugged in. Uh, Four-wheel drive control motor. And I do it on a transfer case so I can test it. There's the motor going in and out. That's the test light right there. Voila. And that's going through that switch there. That switch is the uh, high-low switch. That's a neutral switch. And this is the high-4 switch. That unit's working. We're removing that box, which is the later model Hilux front diff control ECU, four-wheel drive con controller. And I think it probably works on a very similar process to these ones. And I'm going to put that one in. I'm actually even going to change the bracket. Right, I've got a second one to test. And then we'll get going. Normally, we've got like a set, this one here. Let me sit down here. So I've got this little setup, my normal loom that I got run in. And the, this normally mounts underneath the radio. Same setup. One, two, three plugs. It's a power and earth, and it's got a output for the light, and it's got the high, low, oh, the high four switch going in. That setup wouldn't quite work. It's not quite long enough. So two custom looms ready to go. Right, let's get moving. And this, this is why I'm here. N70 Hilux with a solid front end in it. This is N70. You good there? Yep, that's N70. We we'll pop up in here. And this one is the one that didn't have the four-wheel drive computer in it. So it didn't have the electric front diff. So we move this shifter forward. And I turn the key on. And the little light on the dash will come on. See, there we go. There it is. And if I take it out, there's the light goes out. Interesting enough, this one was actually already had the light coming on and off because the plug for the high-low engagement switch um, is the four-wheel drive, same plug as the four-wheel drive switch on this model. So, oh, well, so I was the gearbox that went into it. So this has got an earlier model uh, gearbox with the right-hand drop in it to suit the solid front end. So I've got in here. That's where I was. Wiring runs along the dash there. There's a little switch here, which also puts it into four-wheel drive. So this is the high four-wheel drive, and this engages the low box and engages the four-wheel drive. Comes along, drops through the cabin underneath, right here. That's how we do them. And there's my next one to do. <laughs> fortunately, I'm a little bugger, so I can just slip under here because these things are lifted. And we've got this plug here. I need to replace that one. Is the four-wheel drive light, and then. Uh, what I've done is I've done, see this little, the four-wheel drive light, I've tapped it into that one there. So that's going through the factory loom on this vehicle. I just need to push that over a little bit, don't I? I've been working up the top there. That's better. And then my loom plugs into the, the low four switch. And as you can see, we've got a right-hand drop gearbox in it now. And we've got the solid front end up there. 
And I'm sure this one's an 80 series Land Cruiser. We'll, we'll talk to Aaron and say hello. Interesting, I'm not seeing any drive shaft hoops under here. We will be going for cert, of course. But no power increase. No drive shaft hoops. Because of no power increase? Correct. Don't ask the internet that, eh? The internet will say it needs drive shaft hoops. But no power increase, so you don't need drive shaft hoops. That one next. Four drive computer. So. And there we go again, look at this. Another solid front end in an M70 Hilux. So this one had the electronic front up. There's the plug for it. So that will need to be tucked up and zip tied out of the way. Uh, this one's actually got the 4x4 um, the electric motor from a uh, so the electric electric locking front diff. Oh look, he's again. He's got lovely new exhaust on it. Aaron does gorgeous, gorgeous fabrication work. Right, I need to do some wiring. Hey, dog. So this one, there's a hole drill there. Oh, hey, where's my hole? There will be a hole there soon. And it's got the four drive computer, so that's gonna be my power supplies and my four drive light. Same thing with the gearbox. Drop a hole into it, drop the, drop the loom through there, run it through, up. But this one I power it by here. The other one I actually powered by the back of the cigarette lighter and ran the wire up. Cigarette lighter's fused, 15 amp fuse. Pretty well perfect for me. Right. My wiring is done on the second one. It actually took me more time to zip tie it than actually fit the wiring loom. So while we're under here, let's have a look. There's the sump. All notched out properly, clearance properly to suit this diff. And oh, we've got some reverse lights hanging down. Look at this. Oh no, this isn't actually reverse lights, guys. So on this one, this happens to be a gear position sensor. This is the reverse lights. That's gear position. And that's it tied up out of the way. Full stainless exhaust. All the way up to the turbo. And as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous work. Right, let's get out of here. Right. I'm gonna run a couple of wires in here. ECU bolts to the standard position in this model because this one had the four-wheel drive ECU. So I, I can't take any of the credit for any of the vehicles in here apart from the wiring on that one and that one. It's actually the work of Aaron here. And of course, we're just down the road from each other. Well, I'm like 25 minutes that way up in the hills on good traffic. And we're always going to bump into each other because we do the same sort of stuff. We modify vehicles. Now that one there, it's all painted up, it's all different, it's lifted, it's got a solid front end in it. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, so yeah, basically it came in as a beat up truck. A uh, customer wanted the biggest hunting truck he could have. Um, all the bells and whistles. And it's been a hell of a build, but he's got a uh, removable bonnet platform. He's got rock sliders, all the drawers, lights, um, free bay dog box. Uh, it's got an 80 series front in it, um, all custom built into it. And uh, thanks to Calvin, all the four wheel drive works. and. Be ready to go home uh, Thursday. Fantastic. And then this one, another one, with the with the solid front end in it. You seem to be getting a little bit of known for doing solid front ends. Yep. So this is the second one of the M70s we've done. A um, few improvements and adjustments on the first one. Um, this one's actually got 79 series coils in it because they're a little bit narrower. Um, allows for a little bit more room. It's got flip radius arms. And um, yeah, just a few tweaks and improvements from the last one. A little bit higher. Um, so yeah, that'll be going for it certain the next couple of weeks and on to the next one. Right. And you're going to do more? Always more. 
Well, he's going to be doing more. Always more. Because you mainly do four-wheel drive modification. That's what you do. Rock sliders, bars, that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, um, a lot of the bigger conversions lately. We've actually got a two-wheel drive Hilux coming up. Um, it's our shop truck. We're going to convert that to four-wheel drive and flip really? the diff over and do a whole bunch of crazy shit that... Um, why not? That's going to be interesting. Yeah. I, I happen to have an N70 Hilux. Oh, bring parked it and Parked in my shed. <laughs> so, anyway, um, it's getting late. Time to go home. Yep. Thank you for letting me... Do some sorting out. No worries, thank you. Do them. Day's work. Easy as. Till the end. Beauty come. See ya.